dying out of the ten cases, if not the whole ten cases of such incident, will find out uh, those uh, people that have decided to enter the bus where um, uh, that they that right. member signature motor. Honorable right, Commissioner, so, uh, uh, if, if I could butt in just for a minute, uh, we need to take a quick break, but uh, we'll be back and let you conclude in just a moment. Don't go away, please. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, we've got the Commissioner back on the line. Could you go ahead and tell us uh, what your command is doing to ensure that those who apply the, the bridge, especially along Kara, have nothing to worry about? Um, I, I've told you. Hello? Hello. As I've told you, it's more or less um, a thing of the past now. Um, if you notice, because I know it's a um, route that also leads to your office. Um, when we were having that, especially uh, during the ULETA period, we did a combined um, operation. It was a combined effort between um, the, um, um, the Lagos and the State Police Command. Um, the Lagos stretch is just at Bega. And moving on to that and Kara Bridge, um, you've entered Ogo State. But that notwithstanding, because of proximity, you notice that we deployed heavily. And of course, Lagos State Command still have um, um, some of the policemen, the motorcyclists, and uh, some of our patrol vehicles along that road. So we've uh, been working jointly with Ogo State that we maintain our presence. Um, occasionally, you would have also noticed that I have personally gone on patrol there. We do that uh, daytime, up in traffic management, nighttime, up in crime management. And we've sustained that, and uh, I want to say that um, for some time now, we've not recorded any of such things. Uh, even up to the stretch of Shagamu, whenever it happens, people send SMS, and uh, Lagos State and Ogun State Police Commands have uh, been strong on that road. We sustain what we have there in order to give um, our people uh, using the road um, 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 a free um, a free way um, so that they won't be attacked. And I was talking initially about the um, menace of one chance. Um, as I said, what we've been doing 10 over 10 are cases of people that will not go to the designated motor parks with the uh, partner with um, the motor transport unions. Um, they, they know some of these buses, some of these um, commercial vehicles that are not registered, that are involved more in that, with covert operations that the police have been doing, we've um, also tried and check that uh, to the barest minimum, and of late, um, we've not been recording such cases. Uh, Mr. Commissioner, uh, one of the areas that uh, people are also concerned, even though you say that um, uh, the Kara Bridge area has been properly secured, uh, we did have some of our staffs attacked there a couple of days back. But uh, beyond that, another area of concern is that schools in the outskirts of Lagos seem to be the target here for kidnappers going into schools in the Kurudu to, uh, to kidnap students and uh, at the Tulip, very recently, the Tulip International School. How are you partnering with other state, border state governments to to try to improve the security for the students in their schools? Um, as we've observed, um, what I told you, what I indicated earlier, um, is that we've been proactive. We've been doing a lot of preventive measures. Um, if you see one incident happened, I want to tell you that 50 to 60 have been prevented. You cannot completely eradicate crime. We should know that. Um, we've been working strongly in partnership with our neighboring command to ensure that we synergize, not just the police commands, but with other sister agencies, the military, the DSS, to make sure that um, we do a lot of advisories. Um, those schools that um, are remotely located, we've been working with their proprietors. Um, in Lagos State and some of those places that we call outside um, outside of Lagos, um, we've worked closely with the school proprietors. We've then placed um, a kind of security measure in some. 
mostly is um, engage them in what they need to do in order to complement what we are doing. But we've been strong in most of these schools that are remotely located and um, we continue to sustain that. And I want to say that that has been working for us. Um, the fact that you have the one or two incidents happening um, uh, it does not uh, go to suggest that um, we are not doing anything. We continue to um, sustain all efforts towards that to make sure that uh, we see how we can completely eradicate this thing. All right. Uh, lastly, Commissioner, are the CCTVs working and are you making use of them? The CCTV in schools? In Lagos, on the streets of Lagos. Um, the, if you follow the program of uh, the Lagos State Governor, uh, they've engaged um, uh, technical experts to look at the CCTV cameras in Lagos to bring them back on board. And um, we are hopeful that um, shortly we have all of them uh, back uh, so that uh, we already have the control room uh, consoles uh, from where um, all these things can be monitored and response can be deployed to any area where we notice anything that is happening. Once they come on board, we effectively utilize them. Okay, well, I understand we, we have to uh, get a question from Mark Ware into this. Just hold on a minute. Mark Ware? Well, thank you, Chamberlain. I was just wondering, you did ask the commissioner about what impact he hopes that the new laws will have, the new law on kidnapping uh, will have on the rate of the crime in Lagos. Uh, and I think that question, you know, needs to be answered again. Did you hear that, Commissioner? Um, no, if you can... She says that the, the question I did ask you earlier in terms of how will this law, the anti-kidnapping law signed, into, uh, signed by Lagos State Governor, how is it going to help reduce or stop kidnapping? We believe that it is going to deter. Um, when you say how is it going to help, the way every other law helps in... Um, solving crimes. Once the criminal elements, the criminals know that there are sanctions, not just sanctions, every sanctions. It is believed that um, they would think twice before they do it because they know that if they do it, they will be caught as they, we will be touching them. Uh, they know the every consequence, not just consequence, but the consequence is heavy um, from doing such a thing. And it is believed that with that, um, they, they will get deterred and they would also tarry a bit before they go into committing such a crime. All right, then. Uh, thank you very much indeed for talking to us this morning. Thank you. you know, we've been speaking with uh, the Commissioner of Police in Lagos, Mr. Fatai Owoshini, speaking about the Lagos anti-kidnapping law. We'll be back in a moment and talk a little further on that law. Do join us again.